Microsoft Viva Glint is now coming to all organizations very, very soon in July 2023. And this particular experience means that Glint is now becoming a part of the Viva family, not just in lighter and looser integration with Viva Insights, which it has today, or with subsets of experiences like how it complements Viva Pulse, but it's actually coming into the core experiences. And that means that when you use it to collect feedback, interpret the results, have a conversation, you know, guided conversations, uh, commit to actions, um, and then use that through focus areas, reporting, and more, this is all stuff that Glint does today, that capability set will be embedded in the flow of our Viva work. And the best part of all of this is that for those who are using the Viva Suite, if you use two or three Viva workloads, it's pretty much a no-brainer to buy the Viva Suite. When you have the Viva Suite, you get access to Glint at no additional charge. So it's a really great opportunity for a lot of customers who haven't embraced Glint, um, who have other alternative investments where they can now be displaced um, and more integrated in the flow of their work. Um, and again, for, for many who have never explored uh, something like Glint, it's a great opportunity to understand it a little bit more. So today I thought I would talk about two things. The first one is um, why is this exciting and you know why should you care even if you don't really know what Glint is and you're not you know an employee engagement or an HR person. The second uh, thing I want to talk about today is um, you know what does this mean uh, for a future state? Like what are some of the enhancements that are coming to Glint? So let's talk about the first one. You know why does this matter for many people? Well, one of the things that Glint's really good at is it's really good at direct signals. So when you collect comments and feedback from people, that information is extremely useful, not just to improve employee engagement, but to understand people and how they feel within the organization. And it's very, very useful signal data for leaders and managers and other people throughout the organization. And so one of the advantages of Glint um, is that we can take those direct signals and we can complement them with indirect signals. So think of indirect signals like what comes from digital behavior data in things like uh, insights. You know, how how people are, how many people are working after hours. Um, you know, in long meetings that are unscheduled, and so on and so forth. So we can get really quite uh, granular bits of insights, and we can look at that. Uh, on a population group, contrast that with employee engagement data uh, around comments and feedback, and we can get even richer, um, more holistic perspectives because of that. So that's you know point number one, and uh, and it's a great opportunity. But the other one is that I think a lot of people underestimate the value of new capabilities like Viva Engage Analytics and others, where there is sentiment analysis and uh, wonderful enriched uh, analytics. Uh, for you know how people react to storylines or how people react to you know content within communities, and that content can also be a really nice indirect uh, signal or indirect uh, piece of feedback that can complement uh, the direct feedback that you get in something like Lint. So having these more integrated within the Viva portfolio stack means that there'll be more ways in which we can collate that information, and one of the ways in which we can make that possible is by a copilot. And the other big reason that this is uh, an important milestone moment is because Copilot um, can make that information because you often get, you know, in large organizations we work with, they get tens of thousands or like huge numbers of comments, right, in their feedback. And it's a lot of processing time. Uh, it's very challenging for a extremely resource strapped HR team to make sense of these and then to um, guide the actioning right of that feedback it's it's very very difficult and copilot really makes that more accessible so you know uh, as we transition from point one of the value why it's so better because it's integrated you know the this idea of um, having this AI enrichment layer where it can understand and make sense of this means that your HR teams can be freed up a little bit more, which allows them to potentially take on more of these employee experience transformation opportunities uh, in the rest of the Viva stack. So I think it's a very complementary model that's going to you know, accelerate a lot of HR innovation and, as well as organizational uh, success rates in improving employee experience. All right, so that's point number one. Let's talk about point number two. So you know, what is this thing um, for most people and what's changing about it? So um, as I kind of hinted at there, Copilot is going to have a significant impact on Glint's future because in a lot of ways, what we're trying to do is we're trying to take those insights and we're trying to contextualize them and we're trying to understand them. So being able to do that in a, in a very natural way with, um, with uh, you know, natural language in Copilot is, is very useful um, on 
breaking down those uh, those responses, those insights, that sort of thing. Another reason it's very useful um, is uh, for AI sentiment analysis. So when you look at those um, those uh, mechanisms, a lot of times the reason we might trigger uh, maybe an earlier or you know a more frequent rhythm for employee engagement is because we know we're going through disruption. Of course, every organization is going through disruption with AI, uh, Copilot notwithstanding, but most organizations are going through disruption also through mergers and acquisitions, through in, um, industry shifts, other things that are happening as well. And during those disruptive periods, um, hybrid work was a great example of this, right, with the pandemic and you know the return to hybrid work uh, with the emphasis on remote work. So each of those things are you know business transformation journeys and when you're going through those business transformation journeys, you know, the more data you have over dogma, typically the better off you are. So while you might invest in tools like, you know, having it be able to do AI sentiment analysis at scale or having it uh, able to do summarization, that's a really powerful tool. You know, when we think about these, um, these comments and these feedbacks means that not only can you potentially do something you might not have ever gotten time to do before, but you can start to do it at a more frequent rhythm. And you can do it in a way where it allows you to more quickly get to an action state. So one of the big benefits of this summarization and analysis is when we when we tested this, what happens is what would normally have taken, you know, maybe a week or two because you're, you're putting it all together in Excel or Power BI or whatever your tools are, or, you know, you're using as you know, maximizing the capabilities of Glint, really, really pushing the boundaries there. In each of those instances, you still have to, like, make sense of this. Right. And that takes, you know, like I said, weeks, sometimes, sometimes months, depending on you know how large the data set is. Um, before you really start to really action it. And I think that, you know, the customers that we're working with now for these types of AI toolings, they're getting, you know, significant acceleration there where it's taking, you know, instead of weeks, days, you know, sometimes even hours to get, you know, enough insights to actually start to action it. Um, and that means that your organization can be more agile. That means you can provide, you know, key feedback earlier that means you can trigger that we should have this conversation that's guided earlier right um, all of those things i think are only advantages in this particular model so you know i'm very excited about how glint is going to evolve i really love the complementary nature of um, insights and pulse and how they they work really well with glint um, i think more people need to understand that you know and embrace viva engage I, i'm surprised at how many organizations you know, it's one of the easiest Viva workloads. You know, you just run AMA events and do these different things and you'll create so much more engagement. Run, you know, support storylines in your organization. It's such a powerful connector for helping people connect outside their working groups, which makes them feel, you know, much more connected in the organization. They see development opportunities because they have, you know, new peers. Anyways, there's so much more that we can do with Viva. If you think of Viva Glint as part of your new Viva strategy, I think, you you know, you're all going to be, uh, better off than uh, you were before when Glint was kind of off over here on the LinkedIn side of the business.